alert over a rare disease spreading in Florida. The CDC is reporting an uptick in cases of leprosy in the state. Local 10's Hot Savella is in Margate with what you need to know. The biggest takeaway here is that this is a trend that we're seeing in Central Florida. No cases here in Miami-Dade or Broward of what scientists, doctors are calling a very rare disease. These are pictures the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say show a 54-year-old man from Central Florida showing the physical signs of leprosy. The CDC says Florida, specifically Central Florida, has seen an increase of the rare disease. Yeah, leprosy is an infectious disease. Dr. Giorgio Tarkini is an infectious disease specialist who's the chief medical officer at HCA Florida Northwest in Margate. The lesions in the, in the legs. He looked at the CDC issued pictures with us. Transmission, he says, is typically from animals, soil or people through coughing and sneezing. Interestingly enough, armadillos can carry the disease, but even if you're in contact with the animal for a short period of time, it's highly unlikely you'll get infected. It's important to know that it's a very rare disease and that it's also very difficult to get it. According to the CDC, in 2020, 159 new cases of leprosy were reported in the U.S. This year, the state's health department reports 16 cases in Florida, the most four cases in Brevard County, three in Volusia. More commonly, patients would present with uh, skin uh, discoloration, so blanching of the skin. Uh, other symptoms could be growth on the skin. Over time, a patient could lose sensation in those areas. Doctors say it takes time for symptoms to develop, but it's highly unlikely you'll get it. 95% uh, of the people in general have natural immunity. So even if they're exposed, they're not going to get infected. And so when it comes to treatment, doctors will tell you there is something out there that works, a combination of antibiotics they say that takes about two to three years to treat. Reporting from Mark Gates, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.